Have you had this horrible, intractable cough where you get this tickling sensation at the back of your throat and then you cough and cough and cough and then you might have this inspiratory sound like <gasps> while you're really trying to gasp for air and you might even vomit after you've had these episodes of coughing. If so, you might have whooping cough, whooping cough, the hoop, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same thing. But the bacteria that causes it is called Bordetella pertussis. It can be really dangerous in children under six months old. And that's why we have a vaccination program against it. It can also be really dangerous to women who are pregnant, which is why we vaccinate against it in pregnancy. But whooping cough has got three distinct phases. The first phase is where it's very similar to any kind of viral illness. You feel a bit run down, you have muscle aches, you have a cough, cold, runny nose. You might even have fevers, shiver, shakes and chills, and even just this horrible fatigue and tiredness. This stage usually lasts up to three weeks, which is why we often just watch and wait, because it presents the same as many viral illnesses for which antibiotics wouldn't really make a difference. The second stage of the illness is where you get these horrible fits of coughing, where you're gasping for air, you might vomit afterwards, but the fevers, the shiver shakes and chills, the cold symptoms, that the runny nose, all of that should have hopefully resolved by now. The problem is if you present at this point, we've kind of missed the, the chance to give any antibiotics because at this stage, giving antibiotics will actually make no difference to the course of the illness. To be honest, even if we give antibiotics in the first few weeks, there's no guarantee that we will cause a, a change in the outcome you will still have to go through stage two and stage three. So stage two can last for like three or four months. It's horrendous. And then stage three is the same as stage two. It's just the coughing fits become less intense and less frequent. Of course, if you've had a cough for longer than three or four weeks, it's worth getting checked out by a doctor and definitely seek medical attention if you're either coughing up blood, you're struggling to breathe, or you develop any chest pain. 